Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video I would like to show you how you can connect Snowflake to other applications such as dbt, Fivetran and more by using key pair authentication. This is a more secure option that you can use in place of username and password. Let's go to the Snowflake documentation and let's follow the steps they advise. So first of all, we are going to create a encrypted private key. In order to do that, we are going to copy this piece of code you see right here and paste it onto our terminal, so onto the terminal of our computer. The next step is to add a password. So you're going to have to type this in and then click on enter. And then you're going to repeat the password. Now, in the first time I do it here, you see I make a mistake because the second time I typed in the password, the password looked different from the first. So I'm going to do it again. first, second time, and indeed that was correct. So if everything works correctly, you should have already generated a private key and you can find it by typing P8 among your files. I'm gonna show the info and see that it was just generated just a minute earlier. If my private key has been generated correctly, I can go to the next step, which is to generate a public key. Insert this piece of code click on OK. And again, I'm going to use the same password as before. And this is really what links the private and the public key. The next step is to store private and public keys securely. I do this with one password and I'm actually saving private and public key as files within one password. The next step is to go to Snowflake and modify our user. So I'm going to go ahead to Snowflake and describe my user. And here you see the default is a username and password, but we do not have the public key linked to our user. So we are going to go ahead and do that now by altering the user and setting RSA public key to the public key we just generated. I open it with Visual Studio Code. You can open it with other programs. We are going to copy the public key after the dashes and until before the dashes. I'm saying this and this is important because we need to do something different later for the private key. So alter user GP12, set RSA public key to the public key we just generated. And now if we describe the user again, there we go, we have that key linked to our user. The password is still there. Uh, if you want to remove the password, you can just go ahead and do alter user, the name of your user and unset password. That's an option. And if you go ahead and describe it again and everything worked out fine, you see now that the password is null. Now, in this section, I'm going to show you how to implement this in dbt. So we are going to go ahead and go to your profile. So go to profile settings. Uh, and from here, go to your credentials and edit the credentials for the project. And finally, here you should have, instead of username and password, select key value pair. And you're going to have to insert this time the private key. And what I want to underline is that you need to keep the whole thing. So including begin encrypted private key and end encrypted private key. And you will also be asked to add the private key passphrase. So the password that you added earlier, then you're going to click on save. And if all goes well, you're going to now be able to use dbt connected to your snowflake with key pair authentication. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.